Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. This week we are focusing on my bathroom, doing some cleaning, organizing, and a little decluttering too. I'm going to be showing you how I maximize space in my bathroom and some affordable ways to organize your space if you really don't have a lot of it. So hopefully this video not only provides you some motivation but also some ideas you can use at home to organize your bathroom. I will keep on holding my head high. So my camera just didn't record this but I just assembled this. I got this off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much, but I'll have it linked in my storefront if you're interested. Um, I wanna say it was like $20, $30, something like that. But I'm gonna use this over here in the corner uh, for a bunch of different things. And I'm really excited about this because the situation I have going on in the corner right now is not very good. I store all of Carson's like bath towels and stuff in here since he does use my tub. So, um, I usually put them in there and there's just a bunch of stuff over here, a bunch of mis mismatched stuff that really doesn't have a place. So this is going to save me a lot of room. And this was very, very easy to put together. It took me probably two minutes and I wish that I had the footage of me putting it together. Uh, but for some reason my camera was not recording. So it was really, really easy and quick. There was no real assembly required. You literally just stick things into the holes and push them in place and it's as easy as that so i really like this a lot my kittens are going to be all over me through this entire video so if you don't like cats you've come to the wrong place <laughs> but these are my foster kittens and they're very curious and into what i'm doing so just be ready to see a whole bunch of kittens running around in this video This rolling three-tier organizer is probably my favorite thing to come out of this video. I was keeping all of the washcloths I used when Carson was in the bath just thrown in a bucket in the corner there. I really wanted something that I could store his bath-related products and then just a few odds and ends. This thing is just perfect. I purchased it for $21 on Amazon and it was worth every penny. It's available in a few different sizes. You could get one with only two tiers. You could get one with four tiers if you need that many. You could also use this for a variety of different things. For example, an art cart. That was another idea I had looking at this product. It's so versatile, but it's perfect for my bathroom because I can roll it out and utilize it when I'm giving my toddler a bath, but then I can roll it back next to the cabinet here in this awkward gap and you won't see it anymore. I'm going to have this as well as any other products that are worth mentioning in this video in my Amazon storefront under bathroom organization. So it's really easy for you guys to go and check things out and shop if you are interested. And that is in my description box below. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Talking to Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. I do want to note that my bathroom is not the smallest bathroom in the world. I've definitely seen smaller ones. My apartment actually has pretty decent storage in the bathrooms. So there's a lot of drawers, big cabinets under the sinks, so it's really not too bad. But I did want to direct this video at other people who are renting, who maybe don't have a lot of space, who need some help figuring out how to utilize the space that they do have. So while my bathroom is not the tiniest bathroom ever, and I'm very lucky, I think that these ideas that I'm sharing in this video will help people who do have a smaller space. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, baby, 
I do want to mention just because I'm super nitpicky with myself, but the lighting in this video is super off. I had no natural light to work with and the lights in my bathroom just turn everything kind of yellowy and it's just really difficult to get good lighting in here so please bear with me i know that it's not like the most beautiful video i've ever posted but i promise you that the ideas that i give you in this video are worth it wish i could say i was finally over you but that's not the truth Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page I purchased these drawer dividers on Amazon as well. A four pack was really affordable. These are adjustable. They are super heavy duty. They're really easy to use and I absolutely love them. So I would definitely recommend these drawer dividers. It's a lot easier than trying to play Tetris with a bunch of different containers to find a pattern that fits and you can organize all of your things in. So this is a really affordable way just to divide out a drawer so you don't have things rolling around in the drawer and just becoming a mess all the time. I am never going for perfect when I'm organizing. I'm just not at that phase in my life right now. I'm really just going for function. So I just try to organize things in a way that makes sense to me and that makes me feel good and that's all that I really care about. I'm not doing any of this to make my space look Pinterest worthy and you do not need to do that either. It is just not realistic for most people to have their house look like a showroom all the time and I'm no exception. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Once I finished dividing out my drawers with the drawer dividers and just trying to reorganize the drawers a little bit, I had trash and clutter everywhere. So I'm just collecting all of that and getting it thrown away and out of my way. I did also want to clean my bathroom on this day. So I'm trying to just get everything picked up here because it just feels so good to have a freshly organized space that's also really clean. I have decluttered and organized under my sink so many times, so I didn't want to go too in depth in this video as far as that goes. The systems that I have in there have been working just fine, so I use a shelf riser and then I also have a two tier pull out drawer organizer. It is similar to the one that I use in my kitchen, and a lot of you guys really loved that in my kitchen organizing video, so I also use it in my bathroom and it works great. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel alone And I'm just singing mm, 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 It should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go 
Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. The next thing that I wanted to do was just quickly go through Carson's bath toys. He really wasn't using the vast majority of them anymore and they were just taking up a lot of space. I didn't want to shock him and get rid of everything all at once, so I just went through and got rid of some of the older things and things that he definitely would not miss if I got rid of them. He typically brings his own toys into the bath. He will pick out some trucks or whatever and he'll bring them in with him some Paw Patrol figures, whatever, and that's fine with me. I don't really mind that he doesn't enjoy playing with bath toys and he just brings his own. Finally, once all of that was done, I just wanted to clean my toilet and I mentioned in my last, one of my last videos that I don't really enjoy cleaning my toilet on camera, but a whole bunch of you said that you do like it because it motivates you to get up and clean yours. So I figured I would just include it in this video and I use my Clorox disposable toilet wand to do that. And then I just use some disinfectant wipes to wipe down the rest of the toilet. First of all, I really love this. I'm pretty happy about this. I think it'll be really nice when I'm sitting here giving Carson a bath to just roll it out and grab whatever I need. And then I have room to also store my um, shower cleaner there. I get questions about that a lot. I got it from Target, but I'm pretty sure I can find it on Amazon. So I will link it in my storefront if you guys are interested in checking that out. Cause every single time I use it, I get questions about it. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I think this will be good just for storing Carson's bath related things and then just like extra trash bags for convenience being able to grab them I don't know why I find it easier to have them here than I do to have them under the sink It's probably the same exact thing, but to me it just feels a little bit easier and then I also have my um, travel clothing steamer these are some q-tips and extra toilet paper because I love to have it all over the place. I don't ever want to run out of toilet paper. That would be horrible. <laughs> and I also have um, the whale that I use to rinse Carson's hair. And then this shelf right here, this shelf right here is from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. I've had it for a long time, so I don't know if it's still on their site, but if it is, I will link it. Every single time I show this in my videos as well, I get questions about it. I really like it. It doesn't go that well I feel like in this apartment like the colors and stuff but I did not want to get rid of it because I love it so 
keeping it on display and I just always keep some of the products that I use the most frequently on top and then q-tips and decor items I really never use these towels <laughs> they've been in here forever they're mostly for decoration but there are a couple of, of them missing so I guess I did use some recently this I made myself this little makeup caddy here um, it was unfinished from Michaels and it had these little like circular wooden knobs and I removed them and got these ones from Target just to make it look a little bit fancier and I stained this as you can see I did not stain the back that's what it looks like before I was just a little bit lazy but usually you can't tell it's just the fact that it's right up against the mirror in this apartment and people ask me a lot too if I ever clean my makeup brushes I do um, but I wear makeup like every single day so they look like this all the time and I hate cleaning them it's definitely one of the jobs I dread the most this random but this is like the best makeup brush ever so if you guys need a good makeup brush I love the artiste brushes they're amazing but anyway off topic in this drawer I used one of the drawer dividers these are awesome like this is really sturdy it's so easy to use this pack of them was pretty cheap too and I just like it because it divides out the drawer so when you're opening and closing it it's not like everything is rolling all over the place so I really like these and I used one in pretty much every single drawer it's a really cheap way just to divide out your drawers without having to buy a bunch of containers and then try and play Tetris to figure out where the containers will fit so there's really no rhyme or reason I feel like to where I have things um, to me there is but I feel like to anybody else they'd look at this and say it's not that organized but I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm just trying to make it um, convenient for me when I'm trying to get ready and stuff. So these are like extra products that I don't use very often. These are more of my like regular stuff, hair elastics, and then I don't know how Gimme Brow got in there. Um, and then these are tools for when I'm doing my hair. Down here is extra makeup products that I really don't use very often at all so I didn't really bother organizing this but that's just a whole bunch of extra makeup products and then down here this has really been decluttered so much over time so I don't have too much down here just some cleaning products and then just a bunch of odds and ends that really didn't have a better place and then also all of my nail stuff um, last time I did this a lot of you asked what the nail kit was that I got because I was talking about it um, it's by Olive in June and I love it. I got the everything box and it makes doing my nails so easy and it lasts a really long time. Um, I need to do them again. They're super chipped right now, but I did them seriously like weeks ago. You can tell by how much growth there's been. Um, and they like a couple of them don't even look that bad. So this stuff holds up for a really long time and it's super easy. And then again, just more odds and ends down here. And then in here is where I've always stored Carson's towels. So when he gets out of the bath, I can just grab a towel from out of here quick. And then up here, I used a divider just to keep this all from kind of rolling around like I was saying before. So this is like my blow drying section. So I've got my blow drying brush. I've got the comb that I use to like comb my hair or not comb my hair, um, part my hair uh, when it's wet and then my blow dryer. And then over here, just got my brush that I use all the time and curling iron and hair straightener so it just helps kind of divide it up a little bit in there and then up here I used a divider for I have these like spice rack liners that I absolutely love for doing this for um, you just cut them to fit your drawer and then it holds your products like perfectly without them rolling around but I used a couple of them in my kitchen so I didn't have enough for this side so I just used a divider and just shoved a couple of things over here I'm realizing I have so much Curology um, cleanser and moisturizers. I I don't know what's like wrong with me if I'm just not washing my face enough because they send them like every sixty every sixty days, and I just have like an an abundance of it. So I probably need to like skip a sixty day or something um, just to go through all of it. But yeah, this is just some products and stuff. But and then in Carson's tub i decluttered the toys quite a bit and a lot of his pipes are no longer really working as far as the suction goes so i got rid of a lot of them but i did love them and they lasted a very long time before they started to not really want to stick to the tub anymore and then i need another hook 
for that because the other one broke but that's where i usually store all of his other toys so i got rid of a lot because he really doesn't use them like ever he typically brings in some toys that he wants to bring in to play with so i didn't feel like i needed that many in here anymore so i'm trying to go through it but also not shock him by getting rid of everything at once so i'm just gonna see how he feels about the ones that i left and if he actually starts using them but i may end up getting rid of more Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. 